So buried deep inside my Fire TV Cube, I found this hidden menu. And this hidden menu can actually help your device improve your Wi-Fi performance. It can help you reduce buffering and overall just get a better experience from your Fire TV Cube, Fire TV Stick or Fire TV device. So the first thing we can see is the wireless access point or your Wi-Fi network that my device is connected to, which we can see at the top there. Then we can see a couple of key measurements, which is your signal strength, your noise, and then your signal to noise ratio. We can see on mine, my signal is minus 60, my noise is minus 55, and therefore my signal to noise ratio is minus five, which is actually not that great. And this could be because I'm a few floors away from the internet router or router in this house. Now, do leave me a comment below, let me know what your ratios are, but essentially for the signal, you're looking for a number closest to zero as possible. So a signal of like minus 20 is much stronger than a signal of minus 61. And similarly for noise, the closer the number is to zero, the greater the noise level. So for example, somebody having a noise of minus 55 is actually better than somebody having a noise of minus 10 because minus 10 is close to zero compared to minus 55. And the signal to noise ratio, ideally you're looking for numbers in the plus 40, plus 50. I mean, if you have plus 50, that's considered excellent in terms of Wi-Fi connectivity. So Definitely have a look at your numbers and do leave me a comment below. And let me know what your SNR value was. Okay, so now we have that data. Let's keep going down. And this is where you get some key information. So first you can see it, it does identify that you can reach the Amazon servers because there have been issues in the past where people can't seem to load their home screen. So none of the home screen tiles are loading. None of those background adverts are loading. None of that stuff loads because maybe you're using a hotspot. Maybe you're using hotel Wi-Fi. But because of that, your device can't reach the Amazon servers, which is why your homepage is not loading properly. So here we can see on my device, it is properly able to reach that, which is why everything is loading properly. Now, the last bit regarding channels really is some valuable information, because if you have too many people using the same channel, your neighbors, people down the street, too many devices using the same channel causes lots of congestion. And this will definitely affect your Wi-Fi speed. It may cause your devices to drop out. And it will just give you more and more Wi-Fi connectivity problems. This is why it's definitely worthwhile checking to see which Wi-Fi channels are available and to choose one that is least congested. There are a few applications I will mention in the comments below that you can install on your phone, which will then show you all of the Wi-Fi channels available near you. And you can then ideally choose one which is not that busy or not that congested. And the great thing is with this built-in hidden menu, it's actually telling me that I'm currently on channel 44, but it recommends for the 2.4 gigahertz network, I change to channel nine. And for the five gigahertz network, I change to channel 144. And changing that should in theory give me less congestion, which will then improve my signal to noise ratio and then overall give me better connectivity. So you can also click on more to do a quick Wi-Fi test, but I'm gonna leave that as is. And if you click on reconnect, this will actually disconnect your Wi-Fi and reconnect it. Let me back out of that. Okay, so how can we access this secret menu on our Fire Sticks, Fire TVs and Fire TV Cubes? Well, the buttons we need to press and hold are the left button of the D-pad, the rewind button, hold us down for five seconds, then let go and then press the menu button or the context key, the one with the three lines. So in fact, if I just bring up another camera, so left and rewind, one, two, three, four, five, let go, press context key. And you now get the secret menu, guys. It can be a bit fiddly, but it definitely works, guys. So once again, just hold down the rewind button and the left button for five seconds. Once you've held that down, let go, press the context key, and this will then come up. And you can now go ahead and see some very detailed information about your Wi-Fi and hopefully go ahead and improve your Wi-Fi connection, which will then help your buffering, it'll help your device performance and help you get the best streaming experience from your device. So that's pretty much this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what your SNR number was. Also, let me know if you knew about this menu and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.